Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, previously, the major thing we did was uh, the Spines of America, where we met up with Hosea out at Emerald Ranch and made connections with the Fence, who we can now sell coaches and other stolen items to. Um, we also met up with Albert a couple of times over that, um, nearly got eaten by wolves one time, and then uh, stampeded some horses by him for pictures another. And uh, we also collected the last of the debts needed for money lending and other sins, part two which was Chick Matthews and Lily Millet. And uh, with that being said, let's just jump back in. Now, we are just kind of at camp here for a bit, so I thought we'd, um, I, I slept a little bit, so I was hoping we could catch some nighttime conversation here evening, with some of the characters. Hey, y'all. Uh. I just wanted to say, Sorry about your husband, your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt. Sadie's uh, another character that I really like. Um, the book, The Case of the Deceitful German. A letter. Is this snooping? It's just kind of sitting there. U.S. Um, discharge certif certificate. This is to certify that Marianne Williamson is hereby dishonorably discharged from the military service of the United States by reason of attempted murder and deviancy. Uh, dated this 27th day of December, 1892. Officer in charge, Colonel Harold T. Irving, 15th Infantry. That's uh that's referring to Bill. So Bill's name is Marion. That's not a name I hear commonly. A uh, letter to Lenny from father, January twelfth, eighteen ninety four. My dear Leonard. It is only three days since you and your mother stood on the platform so dutifully, dutifully until my train was out of sight, and already I feel compelled to write. Now handsome you, how handsome you looked then. You must learn chastity, young, and learn it well. There are truths a man of my upbringing finds, it, um, there, there are truths a man of my upbringing finds it easier to set down than to speak, even to his son. I expect this is not easy for a boy to understand. In some ways, I hope you do not understand it. Here is one such truth. I know that I have sometimes been more tutor than father to you, but do not let my sermons on your future as a lawyer persuade you that I see you, must, um, as people, that I see you more as people than son. When we meet again on Sunday next, I expect I will have uh, stiffened once more but this brief distance gives me liberty to tell you that you have redeemed more than you know, or can ever know, or should ever be expected to bear. He didn't become a lawyer. <laughs> so, okay. I expect the yard to be clear of snow when I return. I see that it bores you, but you must learn to accommodate yourself to um, all useful labor, however menial. And as always, read this letter aloud to your mother and... and uh, and where I have written is not, do not say, ain't. <laughs> Come on, dude. I am as ever your loving father. I didn't know that Bill and Lenny slept. I was going to say slept together. I didn't know that Bill and Lenny slept near each other. All right. Evening. So. Evening. Good evening, Arthur. forgot that I was doing God's work and began to think that I was the God. What a fool. What a terrible, what arrogant fool I was. A man of God. And then I met that little sticky black devil. Those little lumps of hell. Just a little back pain. Oh, this will make it feel better. A gift from the gods. And then it got me by the throat. 
You all know that. You all laugh at me, pity and despise me, I'm sure, but forgive me. At least forgive me because all the silly things I do, all the lying and the stealing, somehow it isn't me. Or if it is, it isn't all of me. There's a different, better me stuck inside of here. Dutch sees it. And that's why he puts up with me when I'm sure the rest of you would cast me adrift. And that's why I love him. Because he can forgive. How do you do? <laughs> Even when hey. I can't forgive myself. Dutch just made me think. This is uh, time for some premium cigarettes. So he, he's clearly, um, he clearly drinks a lot, but what they don't outright say is that he also um, partakes of other substances. Any trouble at all, Sean? You holler. Hey. Um, he always says Morpheus is embraced, and I think that's a referral to morphine. So he's talking about other substances there. Is that a photo? Charles. Huh. This must be his parents. I've never seen that before. That's really interesting. Everyone's favorite uncle. Hello. There he is. Hello, Arthur. Mr. Swanson. Hello again, Arthur. <laughs> Well, people aren't too chatty tonight, it seems. Strauss is asleep. A lot of people look like they're getting ready to go to bed. So I suppose um, we could sleep and then get to work in the morning. Oh, Dutch is at it. That's uh, Susan. Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Morgan. Not bad. Is that a great horn devil? Ignore the fact that I just got distracted in the middle of camp. Don't ask. What can you do? Alright. So I suppose if we're going to be hitting the road, we should probably uh, eat something if we have the option. Hello, Miss O'Shea. <laughs> Poor Kieran just tied up over there and we're ignoring him. There she is. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Dutch up to. I don't read in, of course. Good morning, Arthur. Hi, Dutch. <laughs> uh, uh, he's very chipper. I, I appreciate that. All right. So um, we have not looked at the Benslinger photos. I don't remember where they are. Cigarette cards. Photo it's probably in the photographs, I'm assuming. Okay, so these are the photos that we got from, um, from Levin. These are the gunslingers he wants us to follow up on, follow up with. 
Emic Ranger, Pervert, Killer, Hog, Fancier. Ugh. Uh, Beaver, Brook, Massacre, Reported Sightings, Laid Law, Family, Disappearance. Okay, so 1895, that's getting close. At present, Keeper of Hogs near Flat Iron Lake, interview refused. Okay. Flacco. Oh, there's a next button. Flacco Hernandez, the terror of the Grizzlies, wanted in eight states, runs with a gang of at least ten stone cold killers, is that right? Raids into Annisburg, Valentine, Strawberry, and Surrounds, Gazette, Reports, Hideout, West of Coulter, uh, Deep in Grizzly Mountains. Unlike conversa unlikely conversationalists, proceed with caution. Okay, so. Billy Midnight, born Wilhelm Schnell, the man who killed Rabbit Matthews, little known about Midnight before killing, thought to have been Matthews rifle cleaner and stable boy, knew Calloway then, and Calloway's the gunslinger that was at the bar with Levin, the one he's writing the book about. Um, overnight sensation gained national celebrity, speaking tours, then reenactments from St. Louis to Saint Denis, uh, San Fran, etc. Received death threats and suffered attempts on his life. Now a reclusive save for regular sightings at Rhodes train station. Ask for him there. We're not going to be doing that one until later. And the most bad of badasses, Black Bell. Black Bell, Mabel Elizabeth Coulter, the Grand Dame of the Gunslingers, the Dynamite Dowager. Ooh, that's a, those, those are some nice names, the Dynamite Dowager. Married six times to six gentlemen, gamblers, robbers, outlaws, every one. Never divorced, dresses in her widow's weeds. Sole remaining survivor of the Coulter Tobin gang. Outlawed after robbery in Rhodes. Pri private contract for her life or liberty. Large reward. Last reported sighting near Blue Water Marsh. Do not approach. Too dangerous for mere biographer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we have some location information. Um, let's see. All right, so you can see locations now. So the bottom two right, we're not going to do. Emmett's pretty close, so I'm thinking let's go do Emmett Granger, and then we'll start heading up north towards um, towards uh, Coulter, because there's some stuff I want to do up that way. And we've been pretty close to Granger's place, so looks like there's an off trail here. So let's go right here. And let's head out. Before we head out, let's brush you. I have to say, I am liking the outfit. I'm always half expecting Arthur to actually eat the food. Okay, Pat. I tell you, she's uh, she's something else. This this kind of stuff that you miss out on if you don't pay attention and can't. 
get out of here before she kills us all. Right there singing. I'm sorry, that's too funny. Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee-deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right. I'll shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Bury folks alive. One time, I... Yeah, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on. Tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... you know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote for the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. 
Well, you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pig's die, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. <laughs> All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! Really? Looks like it's in my hand. You walk away right now. Don't do it. There you go. No. 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 You did not. Took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw. It's gonna be the last thing you do. Well, guess you should have given me that quote, hey? Self-portrait. Totally worth it. <laughs> he does have a customized, uh, uh, kettleman. But, uh, I don't want it. So I, I can't remember if there's anything worth checking out here, but it's on the way. So we might as well go to Barrel Lagoon and then uh, we'll figure out the rest out from there. Uh, take a quick trip into town. I don't think there's anything we need. I don't think there's anything we need really. We got food. We can hunt well, if we need more. Hey, hey! Let's talk about this. I got thick Arthur, skin. Arthur, come lend a hand here. Yes, indeed. You might want to quit that. That drunk's got mean friends, believe me. Oh, hell. Wasting my time anyway. I appreciate it, Arthur. No sense of humor, the fellas around here. How drunk were you? Just normal drunk. Anyway, I should probably hit the breeze. I'll be in camp if you need me. Surprise, surprise. Uncle getting himself in trouble. That's a fine steed. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. I like that pattern. Like I said, not that you can see it. Appreciate it. Saddle, yeah, I'll get the big one. I want a saddle that fits for you and the horse. Oh, actually, I was going to go with the improved one, wasn't I? Eh, there goes my money. You're going to feel the difference. Trust me. Saddlebag. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Stirrups. Oh, yeah. 
That's a smart choice for your saddle. Like I said, these are actually a point of safety, so I'm, I am going to go with them, I think. That's a good choice. High quality. But I do kind of like, um... I do kind of like this, though. Came to the right shop today, that I guarantee. You know, I, I've lived here my whole life. Oh, I kind of like that. Go through hell and back, and I wouldn't if I hadn't it. stupidly bought two saddles. <laughs> oh, well. Ooh, coffee. Just coffee. What a charcoal. All right, we'll just stick with what I got for now. Perfection. Alright, let's head up way up to the north. Feels like my homeland. What is that? Is that a red tailed hawk? Oh, it's a vulture. Wait. Is that a different type of vulture? Oh, it's an eastern turkey vulture. Gotcha. Nice find. Be gone. Be, be gone. See, he's still at it. Can you do anything with him? Talking, you talking to the sun? I'm sorry. I'm, I, t I tried. Oh, oh I, t I tried. Got your attention, did I? So much pain. He won't send me the message. He won't. I, I, I've been here for, for years. And nothing. Nothing. I, are you the signal? I don't think so. How, how do you know? How do I know? I, I, I don't want to know. <laughs> hmm. Don't quite know what to make of him. And we have quite a few waterfalls and rock formations where I'm from, but uh, no, like, true mountains yeah. or anything like that. Not in the sense of, you know, what, what you probably really think of a, as a mountain. I mean, not like this, what's ahead of us. Uh, but of course we do have the lakes. The massive lakes. And otherwise it's all forested, so... These types of environments are always just really comforting to me. And I'm already seeing snow. So, let's, um... Start to gear up. I said I wasn't going to get distracted at all. <laughs> I was lying out of my ass, but, but, you know, I said it anyway. Let's a little bit more hook behind this steep area. Now we're getting into the snow. So up now. Do you okay, Mercy? Let's 
take this slow. I kind of want to check that out over there. I really didn't expect to find a moose around here. I wonder if that's really common. Western bull moose. Nice find. I said, come on, see if there's anything in the cat in the cabin here. I guess I could have followed the road, and <laughs> guess I wasn't thinking there. Or the trail, I should say. I don't think there's anybody living up here. I said, I'm hoping nobody's living up here because I'm going to check for supplies. Silver pocket watch. Tucky bourbon. Grave newspaper clipping. What is that? Hmm. Dreadful incident. Talented ice skater's career cut short in terrible accident. <laughs> I used to ice skate a whole lot. So I learned to skate when I was pretty young and I actually played hockey for like three years. Um, I wasn't good at all. I can skate though. I haven't kept up on it sadly. Premium six, where the six? Oh, okay. I don't know if there's anything of real value here, but the cigarette cards might be uh, unique to the location. You know, for people who actually want to collect them. People that are not me, because I don't want to collect them. I love those snow effects. Be a different kind of rabbit. Oh, jackrabbit. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I figure out where we are. Oh, okay, so that was Barrel Lagoon. Uh, okay, so let's head up. Let's see, there we go. End of the trails here. So let's uh, head up this way. We still got some daylight, so let's take advantage of it. Let's see. What are you? Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep, huh? Yeah. Uh, Bighorn Sheep were on my list. I think I needed a ram carcass. I guess if nothing else, that wouldn't be a bad find. Wolves are trickier to find though, at least just from my experience. For some reason, they seem tricky to find and they're, you know, they're predators. So, hey, speak of the devil. Um, that's a, that's a ram. He's a perfect one. We gotta go for him. Okay. I think the bow could probably handle this. Let's uh, give it a shot. him right there. Oh yeah.
Since I think that's him, I can't get the contrast right. He's right there. Is that enough to kill him? Oh yeah, he's down. Uh, I feel bad. Oh, he already died. The problem is I actually need the carcass and not... It's gonna go bad by the time I get down the mountain. I don't know, we could make a trip back just to drop this off. Or just hope for the best, but I mean, I don't think it's gonna last. Not bad, huh, girl? Yeah. Hey there. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? I'm gonna try it. Try and do this peacefully as possible. want to speak to Hernandez. We don't like visitors up here. Kill this fool. What was I saying about doing that peacefully? Standing. Gonzalo, what happened out there? Blacko Hernandez, you in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you about Boy Calloway. I'm unarmed. I just want to talk about Boy Calloway. Sure. Here's your message. Uh -oh. oh. So close. Oh, come on. I totally had him that time. going for <laughs> Flacco can I no okay okay never mind well that's not gonna be the best picture of him but okay Uh, 
see. Hmm. The directions on it. What's that saying? Oh, I think I saw what it's saying. Nice little setup he's got here. He's got a fire. And what is this? Interesting. Not quite sure where that is. So let's head into Coulter. So can I set up camp around here? Because it is getting dark. Sure needs to be clean, but I'll just in case. Okay, so this is back where we started. Well, the reason I came here is because of the graves. This is Davies. Yeah, David Calendar. Nope, don't <laughs> don't jump on his grave. Uh, Arthur. And I think Jenny's is out of ways. Probably from when they were lost in the storm. I don't, I don't know, though. It, I always found it kind of odd that it... Because I don't think it's that far out.
Yeah, I take that back. That is a ways out there. So I can only guess that they buried her as soon as she died and kept moving. Which I suppose you probably didn't want to keep a probably didn't want to keep a body around Jack and the others for morale reasons. Should be somewhere around here. I'm assuming it, there it is. I say I'm assuming it's off the tr off the path. Jenny Kirk. I just wanted to pay respects to them. Yep. All right. And so Lake Isabella is where we should be able to find our next legendary animal. That'll take us back towards, uh, Towards, um, well, towards um, home, I guess. So long, Coulter. May we never meet again. Pushing her too hard for this. Is there anything in the woods? I'm curious about the body. I haven't. I, I think I, I might know what that is, but. dark. Treasure hunters. Huh. What? Like I said, it's kind of dark. bodies, not just one. Okay, 
How did I get up here? <laughs> Is there an easier way to get down? on the island. Too much activity. What activity? See, instead of camp. So what if I sleep? I don't know how late the bison would be. Let's try sleeping for a bit, see if that calms it down. I don't know, I guess I can try again. Let's, uh... You all right, girl? I don't know if bison are active at night, though. I suppose to say it could take a while, so probably not that close. I do hear some uh, <clears throat> gnarly sounds coming from this way. One type of animal that we have not far from here that are quite intimidating. Yes, yeah, still a ways. Of course, it's a uh, white bison. Whose bread idea was it to do this in the night? No pun intended. I'm not really well equipped for this. That is a big animal. Holy shoot.
Imagine that running at you. Oh, I am close. That is a distinct possibility. That is uh, terrifying. <laughs> I know, again, this is going to seem stupid, but remember, legendary pelts are automatically sent to the tracker. Uh, tracker, trapper. Okay, my girl. Okay. That went better than I thought it was going to. Oh, hey, what are the odds? The most overrated horse in the game. The white Arabian horse. I'm gonna make everybody so angry by not going after it. <laughs> People get so mad when others don't go for that. I'm like, I, the horse is too small for Arthur's build. That's just not right, okay? All right, let's see if we can get this um, this uh, big horn back in time because. We haven't had much luck with wolves. Not enough that I want to take a chance on it. Oh, shoot. Well, it's now or never. They're on the hunt, though. I don't want them hunting me, I want to hunt them. <laughs> There's no tracks whatsoever. Do they just like completely despawn? Get back. Oh, no. No, they did not. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. This is bad. This is really bad. No, 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 this is bad. <laughs> Pellets anyway. Got one. Oh my god, is that a bear? <laughs> this is this is bad. And how about you? You want some of this? Not, not the quality we need. Oh, it's totally a bear. Well, that's not how I wanted it to go, but... Yeah. Well, it's worth a try. Oh, I see dirt. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, shoot. We lost it. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yo, 
dumbass. I'll see you back, Arthur. <laughs> That'll never not make me laugh. How do I tell you? And some pets, of course. It looks like we'll live to see at least a few more days. Folks are happy, Arthur. Happy? Well, they're fed, which is the next best thing. <laughs> <coughs> Morning, Mr. Morgan. Hey, y'all. Hey. Let's do your donuts. Could really use some good meat for this stew. Many thanks, good morning, Mr. Morgan. Arthur. The Golden Boy. <laughs> good morning, Arthur. Mr. Strauss. How was it looking around Blackwater when you got Sean? Not good. You know, I think we're gonna be okay. Sure, but what next? All that money lost in Blackwater. We have licked our wounds long enough. We do what we do. We make more money, and before they even realize that we're here, we're gonna be gone again. And after that, I ain't losing to these... these fools. Arthur, you know me better than that. We get to work here. We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Oh, I ain't wavering, son. Not too much to do around here at this point. Uh, and we got, we did what I, what I wanted to do, so. so. They haven't said anything, but I'm pretty sure or they, they were talking about it, but they didn't say anything direct. Uh, but I do believe uh, Hosea has pneumonia. Uh, so, and you can hear it in the in the cough too. So I'm thinking, why don't we Let's go, girl. get back out and do some more hunting? So maybe we'll get lucky. So I'm thinking, where was it that I was having? Oh, it was my stupidity. It was up here, right? <laughs> this is where I was having good luck with stuff. Uh, yeah, there's a sign there for big horns. So let's try... Let's just head up here for now. Old friend. Can I get a buck, mister? Sure. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. More, mister. Oh, I think I know those. I'm gonna try to help him. If I can catch up with them. They called you. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I sure can. Are you dead? 
Okay. <laughs> no witnesses. Nobody saw anything. If I recall, I think he's actually telling the truth. Oh my god, there's three people coming! <laughs> Let's walk away. Jesus, thank you. They had me mixed up with my brother. All right. I heard about a moonshine operation going on under the Strawberry General store. Might be worth checking out. Very nice. Now let's GTFO. Come on. Okay, first sighting. Different type of elk. Rocky Mountain cow elk. Okay. So that whole rescue operation may have been a bad idea. <laughs> Thinking about it. How many innocent people just died because of that? Different type of fox, maybe? Let's follow and see what it is. That was on my list. Hmm. I don't think. Let's check it. No, I don't see coyote on the list. That's not what I was expecting. Maybe I'll get lucky. Might need to get some more arrows. He's, looks like he circled back.
Dang, he's way the heck out there. That's wreck. That's wreck. Hang on. Man, he can really move. Oh, got him, I think. I think I just need the pelt. Um, I'll take both, but let's get them. Yeah, it won't take long, girl. So, like I said previously, we're going to pay Mr. Dan's a visit, and then head back home. And he's the last of our debtors, for now at least. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> now that we're both covered in blood, of course. Oh, I actually picked up a bounty from that. Crap. I don't think I can even pay that off. Yeah, that was totally not worth, uh, worth the bounty. <laughs> Howdy. Well, like three innocent people got murdered, two potentially innocent people. To save one person that may or may not have been innocent. I'm going to switch into his jacket.
Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Mr. Strauss seems so understanding. <laughs> Pay the money, you'll make this stop. Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. So again, just as a reminder, uh, Thomas Downs uh, we've we've met him twice. Um, he was the one at the street corner who was, I guess I'd, it's, I think he was collecting for charity or something like that. Um, and he was also the one who stopped us from beating Tommy uh, when we got in that bar fight. Good evening, Arthur. Um, you know what? Let's uh, put the fox in. He's still making moves on Grimshaw. Arthur. 
No more desperate, Strauss. It's in Odetta's nature. Less desperate, then. Yeah, seriously. You're just chilling out. Hey, Orson. Hmm. When the time comes, how you think you'll act? I ain't giving him much thought. Well, I have a lot. I think we'll be okay. But then again, well, maybe not. We are all just creatures living, as it were, on a sea of magma. All is temporary. Ain't no souls. Ain't nothing but this. I guess I plan on leaving with a hole shot in me. Hmm. Like I said, Dutch is one of my favorites. He's got really interesting, I think well-written character. An amazing voice actor. Slash mo mocap. Hey, folks. Evening, Arthur. All good, Abigail? Yeah. Starting to like this place. The boy, too. Good. I'm glad. Oh, this was there, huh? Dilly! Hey. <laughs> How you keeping? You keeping? I like that. Big, tough, and Taciturn. Yes, that's the word. Taciturn. Is it? I don't know what it means. <laughs> well, kind of means I'm big and tough and hiding how dumb you are by not saying much. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that's the opposite of him. It doesn't have to be. If the choice is folks thinking I'm dumb but not knowing for sure, and folks knowing I'm dumb because I sound like you. I think I'd rather keep him wondering. <laughs> I see what you did there. Mighty clever. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you ain't so dumb. He's not. In that case, you'll say something. Say what? I don't know. If I knew, I'd say it. Maybe it just doesn't need to be said. You ever think of that? Maybe... Maybe silence is okay. <laughs> silence. Silence. I got enough time for silence. It's called eternity. I'm starting to understand eternity a little better. It'll be a lot like this conversation. <sighs> you are a very boring man, Charles Smith. You knew that? So you keep telling me. <laughs> Charles is uh, anything but boring. We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. Yeah, this is where we last left off. And this is where we picked up here in this episode. Uh, met Emmett Granger. I cannot think of a single man I have enjoyed seeing dead more than this bastard. <laughs> Pig shit and hatred, and he still threw a knife at me. Yep, I, I have to agree with that. 
Uh, found Flaco Hernandez for that silly book. Killed him. Bastard jumped out of the way, but I still got him. Didn't seem like the type I was going to befriend anyway. Ouch. Yep. And that's our white bison. Some of the critters we've come across. Strauss. I went to call in alone. Some farmer, local do-gooder. Think I'd seen him in Valentine before when I was fighting that big fella. He bagged and coughed and spluttered and I beat him half to death. Such is life. Such is the world. His boy looked at me like I was the devil and perhaps for him I was. The whole thing confused me. Maybe that's wrong. The whole thing revolted me, my part. These sad, desperate bastards, their silly expectations of life, and their tawdry reality. The unkindness of existence. I can handle that just fine. But I do not love it, nor those who try to make things otherwise, I guess. And that's what we just did. All right, that is a good place to close things out. Uh, to recap, we did quite a few things here and some heavy hitting ones, um, or at least a heavy hitting one there at the end. Um, so we followed up on a couple of the gunslingers, um, one Emic Ranger and the other Flaco Hernandez. Um, Emic Rangers, I think, was pretty funny. Uh, going after Flaco, we also followed up on a couple other things. We went after the legendary White Bison. We were eventually able to get it. And we also um, paid respects to the graves of Davy Callender and Jenny Kirk. Uh, reminder that Davy Callender died at the beginning, Jenny before that, so we had to travel a bit of a ways out to get to her grave. Um, and we ended off essentially by um, paying a visit to Thomas Downs, again, the one who um, stopped us from basically beating Tommy to death back in the bar fight. And so we beat, beat him pretty near death, um, left him on the ground with his wife and kid, basically, and returned to Strauss. And you can tell Arthur wasn't too, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't feeling it. You can tell he's not feeling any of this, but I think that one seemed to get to him, especially after his journal entry. And so that is essentially where we're going to close things out. Uh, so thank you all for joining, and I will see you all later.